if you could choose only five questions to study on the CXC paper two, which ones would you choose? That's the question that we asked ourselves. And while it's true that the questions change every year, some years topics come that others don't, and you can't really know for sure, we did an experiment anyway. We looked on the last five CXC papers, taking out January 2021, and we tried to find the topics that were the most popular and had the highest number of marks. And we also looked for the topics that whose wording, give or take a few words, remain the same. Here are the five topics that we came up with. Number five, geometric construction. This one was on all of the last five CXC papers. And it typically asks you to do something like plot a square or a triangle or a quadrilateral or something like that. It's you, it was worth five marks on average. And the only one that was a little different was the January 2021 paper. That one, it was less marks and the question was more based in problem solving. But these are usually the three skills that you need to know to do this question. And I think it's pretty fun. You get to draw stuff. TD students, you're going to especially love this one because what you're learning in TD is the same thing that you're going to do for geometry construction. Number four, good old function. Now, I chose to include this topic because the questions were largely the same. You were asked to evaluate a function, find a composite function, or determine an inverse function. So if you're able to master those skills, then you're guaranteed around six to seven marks on average on the exam. And here's a tip. If you're already good in algebra and you know how to change the subject and substitute, then function should be a breeze because it's the same skills that you're gonna have. Number three, circuit theorems. Now this one, I'm going to admit, it was a surprise to me. It was such a surprise that I decided to look back on all of the years and even all the way up to 2011, there were circuit theorem questions. Now that all of the questions on the paper are mandatory, we can't really choose it anymore. So this is definitely something that you need to know. And it usually came in at about 6.5 marks on average. I think the problem with circuit theorem is not really the theorems, but I think it's when to use the theorems. So you really have to focus on how to apply the problem. Number two, vectors. Vectors was worth an average around eight marks on the paper. And these vectors questions usually want students to add or subtract vectors, find the magnitude of a vector, or do some sort of vector geometry. But I know that some students, when they hear the word vector, they blood hurt. So this is one question that a lot of people are scared of. But trust me, if you get it down, then you're guaranteed quite a few marks. So I'd recommend, you know, finding some resources on YouTube. You can check out mymathcamp.com that can help you with, with vector questions, videos, past paper solutions, games and activities and stuff like that. Number one, sequences. This topic came every single year. I know this one might be a surprise because some people might be thinking it would have been algebra or number questions, but really I chose this one because it largely asks you to do the same thing each year. Complete a number or visual sequence, fill in some sort of table with these values, and find the nth term. Each year, the questions were worth around 10 or 11 marks. Now, the one on the 2019 paper, I'll admit, it was a little different than what you guys would have been used to, but it was the same concept. This is one CXE topic that you definitely need to learn. So, no, I'm not CXE. I'm not writing any paper. I can't tell you what you're going to come with each year. But you know what? You know that if you add up all of these, because you know, look now, sequence is 11, right? And then vectors is 8 marks. So that's 19. Uh, circuit theorem was 6.5. So that's 19 and 6.5, 25.5. And, and then functions and average was around 6. So that's 31.5. And, and then constructions and average was around 5. So that's 36.5. So if you're able to get these topics done, then there's a good chance you can get a 36 and a half marks out of 100. I think I'd pick sequences as my number one topic that you need to know. The question usually comes every year and it's always usually the same. What would you pick as your number one topic? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like. 
and you can subscribe to this channel for more math videos past paper solutions or cxc math tips just like this and if you want access to more exclusive content then you can sign up for our website at mymathcamp.com big up